mother and grandmother of an escaped juvenile offender urge him to turn himself in. And right now, the NOPD searches for Jefferson. You see him there on your screen. Officers say he pointed a gun at a woman in New Orleans East and threatened to shoot. Chris Joseph has more on the teen who escaped in March. That's what that's him. That's Kai. Kai Jefferson's mother and grandmother say he's a good kid who made bad choices along the way. They admit he's been involved in auto burglaries, but say he wouldn't threaten someone at gunpoint. I just don't want them to think he's a monster. But the NOPD announced Monday they're looking for Jefferson and said he's also an Office of Juvenile Justice escapee. Jefferson's family confirms he ran away from the Boys Town halfway house in Gretna in March because he was concerned for his well-being. But as a child, he's scared. We've reached out to the Boys Town and Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office for more information on that allegation. The family says they don't know where he is and says the OJJ has done little to find Jefferson the last nine months. But now the search is on and they say the U.S. Marshals came to their homes. If Kai were listening right now and you could speak to him, what would you tell him? I would say, Kai, turn yourself in, turn yourself in baby. Do it the right way because I'm going to protect him with every breath, of the, the last breath in my body. That, that's my gift from God. I really want to feed my child and stuff, and he's just out here. The OJJ says a warrant for Jefferson's recapture was issued on March 14th. While the JPSO did report Jefferson as a runaway earlier this year, we don't know if that information was released on March 13th or after the warrant was issued. Neither the OJJ nor the JPSO announced his escape and both have cited a juvenile information law. That is a compelling need to tell the public. And if I'm mistaken about that, then the legislature should clean it up, I think, and it should be a compelling interest. As for Jefferson, his mother and grandmother have a simple message. Would you say he's a risk to public safety? No. No, he's not a harm to himself or anybody no. else. And that was Chris Joseph reporting. We did reach out to the JPSO about what it knew about Jefferson in March. And once we hear back, we will let you know.